Hey there everyone and welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a very interesting video because I'm going to be showing you all the contents in my kit bag. Since the start of my four year long swimming career I've collected an abundance of swimming equipment and today I'm going to be showing them to you and telling you what to buy and what to avoid. So the first item in my kit bag is this Vorgi Pullboy, very standard piece of equipment, I got this about four years ago and it's been very durable. Um, I've been using it for quite a while now, especially um, during the pandemic because of my ankle injury and it's been very useful. Picked it up for about five pounds, I don't know. But yeah, standard poor boy. Moving on, we've got the Arena Powerfin Pros. These have been awesome since I first got them back in July of 2020 because of their slightly asymmetrical design. It helps you cre create a, a more natural kick instead of just kicking up and down with the usual fin. They really help maximize ankle flexibility so you can kick more naturally. I got these in a UK size 10 and a half and the only problem was they, they do fit quite large. They have fallen off a couple of times when turning which can be quite annoying. But yeah, so I, I should recommend that you go a size down probably. These are really fast pair of fins and I got these for 26 pounds on Amazon. Also links to all these products will be in the description below at the cheapest price. Next we have the Finis Alignment Kickboard. I really like this because it's a really unique piece of equipment because of its small compact design and also the finger strap here. It's designed to be used with a snorkel in a streamlined position or you could just lift your head up if you wanted to. It's a great all-round alternative to the normal kickboards which are quite boxy and clunky. So if you want something that's small, compact and lightweight then go for this. But it is on the expensive side, coming in at over £16, but if you're willing to spend that for a piece of foam, then go for it. Next we have the Michael Phelps Strength Paddles. I've only had these for a couple of weeks now, and I've only got to test them out once in the water, but already I've noticed that they've built up quite a lot of strength in my forearm. They certainly do live up to their strength name, and they've been a much more effective paddle than any other paddle I've used before. And for £10.99, I don't think you can beat it. A Michael Phelps item I wouldn't recommend buying is the Focus Snorkel. I've had the snorkel for about a year now, but I've only used it once or twice because of how bad it was. It's a much more comfortable snorkel than anything I've used before because of the silicon mouthpiece. The reason why I hate this so much is because when I turn or even try to swim, so much water would get up here or through the mouthpiece. And that's really annoying because it's I can't breathe. It certainly isn't my fault because it's the only snorkel that's done this. And for $26.99, I can find many more higher quality snorkels than this. Alright, so the next item in my gear bag is this um, Finnis parachute. I didn't get this very long ago and I haven't had a chance to use it in the water. But I know it's going to be very difficult to swim with because of this 8 by 8 inch uh, square because it's going to build up a lot of drag. The good thing about that is it's going to build up a lot of strength in all of your body. The parachute comes in two sizes, the 8 inch one which I have here and the 12 inch one which is recommended for older people. It's a bit expensive for what it is at £23 but if you want to build up strength in your whole body then I definitely recommend it. One of my least favourite items that I still keep in my gear bag for some reason are these Finnis ISO paddles. And I'm just going to tell you right now, don't buy these. First, they have a super weird looking design with no straps or anything to keep them in place so when I use them they keep on falling off because they have such a small surface area compared to my hand or they just move around a lot. Second, I never know which one's which. I keep on thinking this is the right one, I think, but I don't know. Wherever you look there's no sign of which, which hand this is so you have to look it up somewhere or ask someone if they know. Finnis say that you can alternate between left and right hands for each paddle, but either way, they still feel really bad in the hand as they keep on falling off. I really would recommend these, especially for the price at £17. They're super expensive for a piece of plastic. Another pair of Finnis hand paddles that are almost just as bad are the Instinct paddles here. The only reason why these are better is because they do actually have indications of which hand is which, but other than that, they're just as bad. If you're going to buy them and you have small hands then go for the medium. I bought these in the small size and they're so loose. I mean when I try to swim with them or skull which, are, which is what they're designed for I have to do this and it's really uncomfortable in your hand. I wouldn't recommend these they're about £10 or something and I just recommend the Michael Phelps paddles. A cheap product that I recommend for all swimmers especially backstroke is this TYR nose clip here. I got it in San Diego for about $2 which is a really good price because it's it's just a little piece of plastic. 
it goes on your nose like this and yeah it's good for keeping the water out now this next tool is something i think that all swimmers should have and it's the finis tempo trainer although i don't use it very much in training i think it's a really good tool for building up stroke rate and increasing it so the way the tempo trainer works is it produces a small beeping sound to help you follow and keep a consistent stroke rate it really makes you want to keep up with the beeping and obviously you can change the speed have a listen the only downside to this little beeping thing is that it is very expensive it costs 42 pounds from the official website and despite that i would still highly recommend it I also have a pair of training goggles. These are the Arena Airspeed goggles. They cost £23 from Pro Swimwear, and I'd really recommend these as well. Now, in my opinion, I think these are the most comfortable goggles ever. This is because of the special honeycomb texture on the gasket of the goggle. When you apply pressure to the gasket, it seems to just wrap around your face, and this makes it super handy for long distance training sessions. The only downside is that Arena haven't put in the swipe technology that they have put in for the Cobra Ultras and Cobra Cores. The link to that video will be right there, or there. But still, they do do quite a good job of keeping out the fog. I think these goggles are one of my best swimming purchases because of the low cost, but high comfort. And obviously I couldn't leave out the MP gear bag because this is the, the bag which I keep all my stuff in. The MP gear bag is pretty large and it, it definitely keeps all my stuff in with enough space for more. I use this little compartment on the inside to keep my cap and goggles in and it's really handy from just separate, separating it out from the rest of my gear. I can find it really easily and it's really helpful. So all of the items that I'd highly recommend are on the left and on the right are the products that I'd really avoid. And on that note, that brings today's video to a close. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video down below and turn on notifications so you're always up to date. Also, share with your swimming friends as it really helps me build an audience. And until next time, goodbye.